from East Lansing at 3.30 p.m. on ABC. Brad Davis and David Sugarman will be on the call for WIUX on 99.1 FM. The Indiana football team is halfway through their first season under head coach Tom Allen. Joining, on, uh, joining us in studio to discuss the team's progress is Joe Cantor. Well, Joe, we've seen seven games of Indiana football under head coach Tom Allen dating back to last year's bowl game. What are some improvements that the team has made under him? Well, the team certainly made strides on the defensive side of the ball. That's Allen's specialty. But the biggest change, I think, is from a mindset perspective. You might not see a lot of differences on paper with how the team's fared this season, but I can tell you as someone who's around this program on a day-in and day-out basis, this team is loaded with athletes that believe in the philosophy Tom Allen's trying to preach. That's something Indiana hasn't always had on their football program. Well, they're 3-3 three and three right now. They've had a bit of an up-and-down season so far. Who's the midseason MVP? I'm going to stay on the defensive side of the ball and give you kind of a boring answer, but it's the correct one. Linebacker T. Gray Scales. He's in the top 30 in the country in solo tackles, and what he adds to this team from a motivational perspective, leading by example and verbally after practice, it's got to be T. Gray. Well, fans knew the guys like T. Gray Scales were going to be pivotal for the Hoosiers coming into this season. Have there been any players or contributors that have been more surprising this year? Absolutely. I'll go to the offensive side of the ball for this one. Slot receiver and red, redshirt junior Luke Timian. He's a grinder. He grits stuff out. He is a possession guy. He moves the chains when IU needs it. Against tough teams like Ohio State and Michigan that pressure the quarterback off the edge, both IU quarterbacks have been confident they can trust Timian to get him the ball and move the chains when they need it. As I said, the Hoosiers are 3-3. Three and three. They haven't exactly had the success that they'd like so far this season. Is there anything that they might need to change or adjust to finish strong in the second half? You know, I don't think there's a lot of adjustments IU football needs to make. They've been the victim of a very tough schedule to start the season. If they beat the teams that they're talented enough to beat, like the Illinois, the Purdue's, the Maryland's, I think that they're going to have an improvement and be around a 7- or 8-win team. Just stay the course. If I had to pick one thing that they need to improve on, it'd be closing out close contests against top 25 teams. They've been there quite a few times. 14 of their last 29 games spanning a couple years have been close contests against top 25 teams. They've only gotten one win in that span. So just close out tough contests. They've got three wins now. They need six to become bowl eligible. What do the Hoosiers need to do to become bowl eligible? Well, to become bowl eligible, you need at least six wins. Like I said, Maryland, Rutgers, Purdue, Illinois, those are four teams that I believe Indiana is talented enough to beat and should beat. If they get that done, that's an improvement on the last two years. That would put them at approximately 7-5. and five. But like I said, maybe close out a tough contest against Michigan State or Wisconsin, depending on how they play them. But I think the key for them to do that is consistency on the offensive side of the ball. Well, after being bowl eligible in 2015, going to the Pinstripe Bowl, and then going to the Foster Farms Bowl in 2016, the Hoosiers will look to be bowl eligible for the third straight season and in their first season under co head coach Tom Allen. Back to you at the desk, Lydia. Thanks, Joe and Austin. Exactly as Austin mentioned, the team appeared in the Pinstripe Bowl in 2015 and then the Foster Farms Bowl in 2016. They have a bright future ahead of them if they can make it.